So I've got a shoot tomorrow, and I'm actually going to be gone for six whole days. So I'm going to be prepping my bag here. I've rented out three more electro units so I can use, and some more Countrymen's. Oh, perfect, perfect timing. And uh, I'll be installing those into my bag just so I can have like a total of eight inputs if I need it. And that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> We are actually going to be using time code. Uh, I got called yesterday if I knew what cable he was talking about. I was like, yes, I have it. So we'll be using time code. I believe they're using a red camera. So I have a five pin limo. And this isn't, <clears throat> like I said, I'll be gone for six days. So I'm going to be packing more than just this. Um, I need to pack some of my battery chargers over here, like my double A's, my nine volts. A charger and stuff like that i'm not bringing the i'm not bringing the v mount charger because uh, that's a little bulky so i rented one that's in that bag there and that's just that's one of those standing ones you know but yeah let's pack this up uh yesterday i had a shoot it was basically 12 hours it was like 11 hours total uh, i basically only shot for like six hours i sat most of the time because they did a lot of product shots, but that wore me out, and I was I was planning to like pack as much as I could can yesterday, but I was so tired, I was just sitting on my desk here, just falling asleep, like I could not stay awake. <laughs> but I was I woke up and had enough energy to like set batteries to charge, so that's a good thing because like. I wore out both my nine, my not nine volts, my V mount batteries. But let's put this back together, and uh, I'll get back onto you guys. But after that, so here we are, kind of a new setup slash not. I replaced uh, four of my mics with the TA5 uh, B6s, country my B6s. I want to keep the W Lobs in here, just kind of a backup, so I have no other space. So I put one here and one here. Which kind of tells me I should probably make a little more room now. Print a new 3D scan of this. And kind of like increase it up to here maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Uh, when I measured all this out. It was kind of set to like a perfect standard. But um, I'm obviously going to be increasing my mic count. You know sooner than later. So I should start thinking about upgrading soon. Especially since it's free. I just use my own material to 3D print. I just need to use my time to do it. But, um, so most of my 9 volts gets used into my, into the electric, the receivers. So one row is gone, so I have room for um, just two rows of the 9 volts and two rows of double A's. And I put my other timecode units in here. I put my UltraSync 1 in here. And I put my UltraSync Blue, just in case, you know. I'm going to bring my Zoom F2s, just in case I need to use those. Uh, everything is literally just in case. <laughs> so here are the transmitters for the electrosonics. These are the SMVs. And these units are great. I love them. Uh, they only take one AA battery, so they don't last that long. In fact, these are nickel metal hydrides, 1.2 volts. Um, I think 1900 milliamp watts. And it only powers these transmitters maybe like two hours. Like, I wouldn't go past two hours really. Uh, I usually try to change it within an hour and a half or so. So um, that's something to think about if you try to go for these transmitters and these battery types. So this is how the bag looks now. Uh, we have the five electro units up here. These are the 411As, the ones I rented. And my units over here are the 201s over here. And these three, the 411s, those are utilizing the power from my V-mount battery. Well, these two, they're being powered through double A's. So that's why you see a uh, battery looking symbol there rather than the plug compared to the, the 411s here. So I went this way because every D DTAP splitter only goes to four and it cannot go more than that apparently because you know I'm sure that's a lot of power voltage to be sitting around. So uh, that's the best way to go. I have not bought a BDS system yet because I just don't have the money and I don't get enough gigs to really, you know, utilize the BDS system. 
And aside from that, like these are the only two electrical I own. Otherwise, I use my Sennheisers as well. So on the side, you can't see it, but right past the blue one, the blue is input six, and then input seven and eight is right there. And that is going out into 3.5 millimeter jack. So if I wanted to run my Sennheiser units, I can. I'm going to be setting it out the bag here. It's kind of going to be sticking out. Actually, it won't be sticking out. If I use it, it will be sticking out. But I'll be resting it in here when I won't be using it. But if I do use it, it'll be sticking out the bag. I have little pouches here on the side that can hold the, the receiver units. And here's the pouch I'm talking about. So this just goes on the side like this and then it can hold the receiver units. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to do it in this case because it's a feature film and I don't want to mess around. So I'm going to go to Finder. I want to go into my SD card one and I'm going to create folders. So I already have these created. So I have day one all the way up to day six. And I'm just going to make sure I have day one selected because tomorrow's going to be day one. I believe I am all packed up. So we got my main case here. This bag contains all my charging units there. This is the radios, the walkie talkies. And then next to that is the time code slate. And this bag goes on set. So it has one of my microphones in there, has some extra cables, has another V-mount battery if I need it, has my windscreens and some chargers. I bought my little small AA charger just in case like I need to charge during on set because I'm going to be using a lot of AA's. I have some coats here, uh, coat slash sweater hoodie uh, because th with different thicknesses because this is Missouri and you never know what kind of weather we're going to get day, night, whatever. Uh, it differs all the time. So I want to be prepared for that. The yellow case is the Comtex slash IFB units, which we will see if we use it or not. We probably won't. My main bag here, my sound bag. I got my clothes. And I, I'm bringing my rigging case because we have, I believe, a car scene. And what I've I've noticed that works best, I have Dinkum arms, which is here in my car. But I've noticed that magic arms kind of work a little bit better. It's more low profile and stuff like that. So I'm bringing the rigging case just in case I need to use it. So that's all I've packed up. It's not that much, but that's because like some of the stuff... I need, it's already in the car, so, yeah. So I woke up at five in the morning. I packed my car up and I got some food and drink for the road. And it was super dark and it was super foggy because, you know, we get warm weather in the day and then cold weather at night and it creates fog. So it was a pretty dangerous drive, actually. Um, ironically, like, the other drivers was a little dangerous because some would be driving super fast. Actually, no, not fast, driving slow. And uh, it's a little dangerous because they're driving kind of, you know, around speed limit and you get to them, they're too slow and you don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah, kind of did just drive, but it's a good drive regardless. Just a little foggy, that's all. So I'm at our location. This is the house here. And just beyond that truck over there, it's a school. It's an elementary school. So hopefully that doesn't affect the sound. Uh, I don't know if it will or not. We'll see. I think we're doing exterior stuff first, so it might be all right. It's early in the morning. Everyone's coming to school right now. So I think we'll be all right. We'll see what happens. So the camera they're using is the Red Raptor and running the Tokina lenses. So that's pretty cool. We are running time code to the main camera, which is the Rhino. They have a B camera, which is the Komodo. And we could have probably ran time code through there, but then uh, I didn't have another five pin limo to attach it to. So we just ran into the main camera. Most, if not all the crew are from Utah and they have done this for a long time. So I'm really glad that I was working with professionals and they know what they're doing. Aside from that, they are super cool. They really want to get this done and we had a blast on, on set. 
I did run my cart on the first day to that location. It was a little difficult to bring it in because it's a gravel road, unfortunately, which is kind of weird. Uh, but then it worked fine. I, you just got to muscle it through a little bit. It was a pretty muggy and cold day and it was snowing like all the time. So it was kind of, it kind of sucked, but at least my dead cat didn't get wet where I couldn't use it anymore. So it was okay. So right here is an example of two cameras set up and it's kind of tough when you do two cameras set up because like they're mostly focusing on medium shots on both the people. And sometimes I don't really have a location to stand and boom. So I'm kind of forced to just like do my best. Here I have a mic change. I changed to my NT5 because I kind of wanted a lower profile in this area, the front door here. So I didn't want to like lug around a giant microphone and blimp in this spot here. We have a few lights set up. This is the 1200D from Aperture. It's on a combo stand. There's the grip truck right there and just a stray C stand. All right, I'm in the hotel and this is the spot they have me in. Uh, it'll do, you know, just for rest basically. But these are all the stuff I brought. I don't think I need anything else. They gave me some pizza because they had a bunch and I'd rather not spend money on food. And I don't want to go out after today. So I need to set up my charging station. I think that might be the only outlet. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah. So it's the end of day one and it is 10.35. Uh, Started off, uh, I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, uh, drove here from Springfield uh, to Rolla, not here, but to Rolla. Um, got there at about 7.45, but everything is charging now. I've dumped the important stuff. I'm about to dump the stuff I captured from my cam, my, not my cameras, my, my phones, then dump the stuff on this camera. So that is it for day one. Uh, I'll see you guys in day two.